Hi, my name is Mark from Rove Explorations. In this episode, we will be visiting Belcara Regional Park in Port Moody, British Columbia. And at the 11.30 minute mark, if you could give us a hand identifying a little friend that pops by for a visit. Here's my intern for the day. She's doing okay, asked a lot of questions. You feel a little sick? Intern sick at Belcara. We are Tanner trying to remember how to fly. Maybe he'll find a shark like the first time he flew it. Here we are with the contraption, ready to put her down. Got some salmon mounted high. 360 on there. Jellyfish. That's a good shot. Reminds me of the time when I got stung by one when I was diving. I uh, came up from 80 feet and the only thing exposed was my, I had my mask, my hood on, so a little bit of my forehead, my cheeks, and the upper part of my lips. And one of these guys touched me. I'd never, I didn't even really know about them. And all of a sudden it felt like I was pepper sprayed or burning, my skin was burning and it did not feel good. And then when you wipe it, because it leaves a bit of film on you, it kind of spreads. So yeah, that was not cool. So stay away from the lion's mane. And we have a lot of them here. This is the biggest jellyfish in the world. Um, I think they get up to like seven feet in diameter and uh, like a hundred feet, hundred foot long tentacles. So yeah, really cool. So here's one, got a good shot of it. I remember that now. Um, that's the onboard camera from the ROV. So it was really cool getting to watch it um, swim through the water and how it moves and stuff. So very nice to watch it from a distance, yes. watch crabs all day. I just find them so fascinating. They're just like, I don't like spiders, which is weird because crabs move like spiders, but in the water, but for some reason they don't creep me out. Um, I've learned a lot since we've been doing this with uh, the ROV and just watching hours of footage of crabs eating. I just didn't really realize all the intricate kind of things they have in their mouth 
I don't know all the technical terms and things, so. But I just love watching them, how they eat with their big claws and pull little pieces off, and yeah, very fa I find it very fascinating. As one of my friends said, actually I think it was Mac, said uh, that uh, wouldn't, it, what would the world be like if crabs were way bigger, like if they were like 100 pounds and they lived on land, I don't think the human species would last very long. <laughs> because uh, they're very efficient at what they do. Love watching. Is he going? Look oh, he's, he's mad at the yard. Oh, you got the light on him? Nope. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's a red rock crab. They're angry. See, he's got the black, uh, black so claws. Creepy. Ooh, there's lots of stuff down there right now. Look at, there's another crab. So we've got the trap down at 20 feet, or not the trap, but the filming unit. Can't quite see it. Oh, it's getting deeper. I can gotta slack the line. Here we are. It's raining and sunny. <laughs> Tanner's a rove pilot. Just went and checked out a crab trap. <laughs> 